if my face is wonkier than usual today I've had a filling and ha half of my face is a little bit numb still so if I do have a particularly wonky face then please excuse it. Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be addressing some of the controversy that's currently surrounding the tiny friends farm bathing sand. So I've been looking online at a load of different websites, a lot of Amazon reviews in both the UK and the US and I'm going to sort of go through them with you and give you my personal opinion on it and whether or not I would use Tiny Friends Farm bathing sand at the moment. So the first thing I did was looked at the Amazon reviews in the UK because that's where I live and they weren't great. So there was lots and lots of comments saying that the sand is dusty. I'll put them all up on screen so you can have a look or all of the ones that I've sort of read through. So lots saying that it's too dusty, that since the packaging's changed it's very dusty when you're pouring it out, that it's caused a gerbil to develop an upper respiratory infection, too dusty, too dusty, there's literally pages, do not buy this, no longer safe for hamsters, no longer safe for hamsters, too dusty, not for hamster toilets, too dusty, there's literally pages and pages of bad reviews on the UK site, recent reviews from 2018, so last year when I guess the controversy started but I'm a little bit late to the party. So that's sort of the UK and about all of this happening after the packaging had changed. So I went to the website to see if it said anything about what actual sand they used and it basically didn't say anything other than sand baths are a nice treat for hamsters and that they believe that it should be a soft kind even for pets with sensitive skin. So it basically didn't really say anything about the contents of the sand or what was going on with it or about it changing since the new packaging. They said nothing about our new formula or anything like that. So I took to the general internet and this formula change was all over the internet. So there were comments on Reddit about the formula changing and about it seeming really dusty. There were comments on Hamster Central. So lots of people saying it was really dusty but not deadly. And again, lots of comments about people having reported that it's caused deaths. So I also noticed on Amazon.co.uk that it looked like the previous packaging, which was the Supreme Science bathing sand, which I'll put a picture of, and that sand was quite highly regarded within the hamster community. It was known for being pretty dust free. It's a brand that I've historically used with all of my hamsters and I really liked, I'd never had any problems with. It was generally considered a good brand of sand and that one has now been replaced by this new one which is what's caused the issues. So on Amazon.co.uk it looks like you can still purchase the old one but what actually happens when you purchase that is you receive the new one. So you receive the new product and the new contents of the packaging, whether it is a new formula or not, which we will still look into. So obviously there was a lot of angry comments about that because people thought they were purchasing the old, old one and they were receiving this new packaging, this new dusty formula. And also people saying that the packaging is just inadequate, they received it and it had completely exploded in the box. It's just generally causing a lot of issues. So I also found an article online about Supreme Pet Foods and the marketing manager had said that bringing the sand under the tiny Friends Farm branding gives retailers a great opportunity to cross sell within the range. So basically it's just talking about the new packaging and how it makes it more appealing to consumers. So you know there's a couple of people online saying that it is safe and suitable for all breeds of hamsters but then I ended up going on to Amazon.com and that's where I found all the absolutely appalling reviews. So lots of people again saying that the formula is very dusty, don't buy it, too dusty, do not buy, no longer safe for hamsters, too dusty, too dusty. There's a very common theme. <laughs> so then I came across the reviews that were saying that they have actually caused deaths in hamsters. So someone said that they ran out of their last box which I'm assuming was the Supreme Science bathing sand. So they bought a new box and ended up getting this one, that it was very grey and dusty and they were hesitant but the hamster loved it so they let them use it and woke up a few days later 
and the hamster had died. So someone who was again previously purchasing this and enjoying the product had noticed the change, noticed the dust and then their hamster had actually passed away. So another person saying that they used it temporarily until their new sand came and their hamster ended up passing away. So someone else saying that the product used to be twice the size and actual sand and now it's dust and half the size and it costs more. So three days after using this product, two of her hamsters died. She had an autopsy done on one of them and the vet said her lungs were full of dust and the cause of her death was lack of oxygen due to respiratory depression from dust. So that a vet has done an autopsy and said that it was a direct result of inhaling dust. So someone else saying that her hamster ended up passing away. So there's loads of pictures as well of sort of the dust included and people have mixed it with water and it's just turned to sort of like slush. Not suitable for hamsters, will cause respiratory issues because of the dust. And of course, that's why we use chinchilla sand and not dust is because small pets do have really sensitive respiratory systems and the dust will cause issues which is why it's so important to use a sand and this sand was regarded for being dust free and so if people are buying a dust free sand and receiving dust and putting it in their hamsters cages so this is really sad because it was a really trusted brand it was a brand that people purchased from and used for a long period of time and were really happy with and and this so I did send a message directly to Supreme Pet Foods but I basically said hi <laughs> have you changed your formula when you change the packaging is it a different product in the UK to the USA because a lot of people in the UK were saying it was dusty but that it was safe and a lot of people in the USA were saying it caused all these deaths in hamsters so I was wondering whether it was two different products. Then I received a response that was pretty much the same as everyone else's that they got online. But they completely dodged the question about it being the same in the UK and the USA. It's obviously just this standard response that they send out to everyone. They must be being contacted very frequently, so they're probably just sending out the same response to everyone. Which is, we can confirm that we have not changed the formula, our bathing sand is a sepia light material which is a naturally occurring clay mineral so I might have to look up how to say that word because that is a new one sepia light sepia light um, we trust that this clarifies the situation for you but should you have any more questions email us um, which it didn't really answer the question but you know they answered the main question which is that they haven't changed the formula and a lot of people have posted similar responses online Someone here posted a similar response that was a bit more in depth, so maybe this was a bit earlier on in the drama, and they said, thank you for our feedback regarding our bathing sand, occasionally due to a natural variation within the landscape where the product is mined, there may be some variation in the colour and particle size of the sand, which makes sense. So the product is graded during manufacture and we endeavour to provide a clean and consistent product, the formula of the sand has not changed and the product continues to meet the same specification. Your feedback is greatly appreciated, blah, 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 blah. But, so they're basically saying it has not changed, it's still graded the same, it still meets the same specifications, it's just naturally occurring differences. So I would understand that in a colour change, but from these many reviews, the quality has obviously changed or the particle size has obviously changed. You can't go from literally loads of people recommending it, it being considered one of the best brands for a bathing sand, to it being considered ridiculously dusty and being avoided like the plague. Uh, I wouldn't call that a naturally occurring difference. A couple of people on Hamster Central, which is a hamster forum, have tried breaking down the email and discussing what it actually means, what a sepia light sand means, but from what I could find just from a quick search online, it seems like most chinchilla sands are sepia light sand. From what I can find, sepia light chinchilla sand itself shouldn't be an issue for hamsters. But if you know anything more, of course, let me know in the comment section below. I will leave 
everything I found out in the description bar of this video. So a big shout out to Lucy Comments and What's My Life? So they did let me know that this sand is no longer suitable. So there's also comments floating around on various YouTube videos that I've seen. People saying that it has, the colours definitely changed, it's dusty as hell, made the hamsters sneeze. It's like clay, if you add water you can mould it like clay and it dries into big solid rocks which would obviously be really, really dangerous if a hamster ingested that and it turned into a big solid mass that they weren't able to digest or pass. Obviously that would cause major issues. People saying that it's just dust. Yeah, basically it's everywhere at the moment. So would I recommend using this sand? Not with all that's going on at the moment, absolutely not. I know the company have come out and said that the formula hasn't changed, but can that many hamster owners be wrong? I don't know, I think it's something that's come out as being a major issue and it is causing deaths with a lot of hamsters which is obviously awful and to everyone who's lost their hamsters due to this I'm so sorry, it's so horrible to suddenly lose a hamster, we had it recently with Cream Puff, she just suddenly passed away and it's awful. You should be able to trust these brands especially Supreme Science, which was a really reputable brand in the hamster community, their food was known for being good, their sand was known for being good, and from the signs of it they've also changed their food as well. So it's a company that I definitely wouldn't recommend anymore without doing a lot more research. So let me know in the comment section below what you think and I will speak to you guys soon. Bye!